the cocoa. Um, I would hide, if we're going to be getting a lot better in 2012 about starting on time, being highly productive, getting a lot of things done, I promise you that coming to Cocoa at 3.30 with formal proposals will make that happen. There's a lot of good statistics that say for every minute invested in planning, you save three to five later on. When you talk about three to five minutes, for 70 people, we're talking about hours and hours and hours. So that's my endorsement of that. And uh, as we flow into that section of the, of the agenda. First proposal, formal proposal. All right, I actually, just real quick, I have five proposals. Uh, Coco has five proposals. Two of them are uh, for specific actions, um, <clears throat> and two of them are in regards to the, um, the the timing of GA. And then I have one from a working group. So uh, if if it's okay with everybody, just one temp check. I will do the um, the ones for organizing general assemblies, um, and then the um, two actions, and then the uh, the work group. Is that okay? Can I get a is anybody opposed to that? Okay, thank you. All right, so um, the first one is a formal proposal for GAs to cut GA to two times per week, Thursdays at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 5 p.m. That's it. Uh, so, you so we have a process. This is where this sheet becomes really useful to everybody. If you can pull this one up. It's just around your neighbor should have it. So we... We, like, discussion is something, to go over this really quick, discussion is something we've been doing generally. Most formal proposals should have been discussed in small groups even before they come to this body. And that's what, let's actually read the definition for formal proposal. A formal proposal is a proposal that has been thought out and received input from multiple individuals and is usually derived from previous informal proposals or created by a work group. And so we've already done the discussion, we've heard the proposal, we're going to go ahead and test for consensus. If there's consensus, it passes and we're done, and we go to action points, like who hangs on, who deals with it. If it doesn't test for consensus, we can have some, some concerns raised and do a stack on it. Um, we may take modifications of the proposal and test again. Or, this is really important, after concerns are raised, if, there's, if you feel like your concern has been understood, but you want us to be able to move forward, you can stand aside and let it pass, with the concerns having this voice to the body. Um, so now I'm going to take a test for consensus on this proposal. <coughs> oh, clar oh, sorry, clarifying question. So on this proposal, would that um, also uh, give room for, say, adding a GA on specific days? That is the next proposal. Okay, so okay. that is taken care of. Thank you. And just to let everyone know, um, this, this, I know this was talked about by several people. Uh, Chris Gillis, uh, is, it's, he's the uh, sponsor of the my question? Yes. Would it be possible for this to be for, let's say, for the end of February or for 30, for three, four weeks and then assess, you know, whether we want I, I think it's, Sorry. I think it's fairly understood that any um, decision that we make can be overturned at any time if it seems likely in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm going to actually ask Chris to step down from facilitation so he can field questions because it was his proposal. And we have another stack keeper. Is that cool with that, right? I just really quickly um, bring up why I propose this. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on for the next month and two. I know my hands are in a lot. You guys' hands are in a lot. This proposal gives us some room, some wiggle room to actually get some work done um, so we're not in GAs all the time. I chose Sunday because we get great crowds on Sunday, and I think we can get a, a lot of productive work done on Sundays at 5 o'clock. Um, I chose Thursdays. Um, that seemed like another good day before the weekend, and uh, um, most everyone I spoke to agreed Sunday. I mean, Thursdays at 7 o'clock was a great time. What was missed from the proposal was uh, a Tuesday or Wednesday open session time, um, and I feel that for a two hour or so box or where work groups can come together and work together in the same space. You can, you can come, you can come. It's, it's an open session time. It's just that's flow, the, kind of what. That's the next proposal. Yeah. Okay, well. Sweet. So this, this proposal <laughs> has, a, has a complimentary proposal that suggests an open session time that allows for a lot of open talking and discussion. Sweet. So that's where I was. Any questions? Yes. Is there a location? Locations, you know, as we have GAs right now, we vote on our locations. Um, 
I would hope with two J's a week that we can have those voted on on the Sunday GA for the week so everyone knows where we're going to be meeting. We're going to be completely informed where people don't have internet. They don't know where we're going to meet and there's no running around with this. Two GAs, two clearly, two clear spots where we're going to be. So no confusion about, oh, we'll figure out Wednesday where the GA is. No. Sunday and Thursday, we'll know on Sunday where the GAs will be for the week. That a point of clarification? Yeah. Uh, just, just to be clear, right now what we're voting on is just the, the two GAs. We're not talking about the open space thing right now, correct? That's another proposal? Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, and it sounds like Alan was saying that this location is open on Thursdays from now until the end of February for sure. February for sure. Okay. Or Thursday night. Point of clarification. Um, there is a uh, jams, the, the event jam mentioned on Thursday does occur here at 5.30. I don't know how long it goes. Two and a half hours. It's coming Thursday. All right. Um, are we ready to, to vote on this? Or We'll take a temp check now. This is not an official vote. A temp check, see if concerns are raised and go from there. So if you're in support of this proposal, can you please put your hands up? If you don't support this proposal, please show your dissent. I'm showing, I'm showing my dissent, but I thought we were going to take stack on this. Um, if there is, if there is dissent, then we would take, we would go into concerns. There is dissent. Um, because there's only one dissenting vote, and we've got a, um, a body that's, that's, um, I think, voting for um, consensus. This, to my understanding, this wasn't a vote. This was a temp check. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. If that this were a vote, that's that's fine. But being a temp check, there's no protocol. I, I so I apologize. I, that's my I hope we have a rule that we discuss things before we vote on it. Is that that's a rule? That so this a rule. Is, this right. is a temp check. Um, we by our process, by the one we handed out, we usually do allow concerns to be voiced. So let's hear your concern. Okay, uh, my concern is that. Um, we have the General Assembly coming up. This will come up in the next proposal. Um, I think that the meeting process has been part of the occupation, and I think possibly we might want to change the name if we start eliminating not only people, but you know, time to occupy and just general space where we're all together. I think, I think uh, um, and also I think that if other people want to meet in a general assembly, it shouldn't be up to a group of people voting against taking action to prohibit anybody else from doing so. That's my only concerns. I mean, I think I think they're valid concerns. I wouldn't have brought them up, but I think maybe people might want to consider that. Just not hamstringing people who want to be active in meeting all the time. Okay. So I think we, I'm, I'm glad to hear your concerns. Um, I'm realizing that this actually does Pretty clearly say that we test for consensus, and if we have consensus, we mm -hmm. in the test we go from there. So um, we'll go anyways, um, and uh, we'll we'll now take a formal vote. Everybody in support of this proposal? Everybody against this proposal? We got one. We got two. This proposal passes. You got section proposal? Um, this is for the. Uh, Point of process. Uh, these hand signals, the uh, up and down things. Not just uh, raising hands. I request that you be really clear about using hand signals up and down. Okay. Because it's Clarification before we leave it. Do we want to decide on a location? Do we want to lock down the calendar for here? We can decide it later. Yeah, okay. I'd just like to move along. Um, the second proposal is on behalf of the facilitation work group. Uh, the facilitation work group proposes that we hold special assembly that will occur once a week on a rotating schedule, but not on days of general assembly, and that will last for approximately three hours, the first half containing soapbox, the second half containing education. And that is the proposal. What was the second half um, The second half containing education. So that could be any number of things. And this is the facilitation work group? I'm sorry? Proposing it. Okay. Just they're just the ones who came up with it. But what is then what is the actual event that I, I it, it is a uh, a special assembly that is um, that will occur once a week on a rotating schedule, 
but not on days of standard general assemblies, and this will be put aside for soapbox and education. Ah, uh, I see. So um, this is just a point of information about the proposal because I was one of the folks amongst many who are working on it. Um, I think what it's supposed to be is like when, when you say an hour and a half soapbox style discussion, that's essentially just an hour and a half for like new people to come in and voice exactly why they're here for us to have totally loose free speech for uh, a, a very large amount of time, not restricted like 30 minutes in soapbox during GA to talk about whatever we want to talk about, to have discussions, to ask each other questions in a group setting. It allows for another group meeting in, uh, outside of those two GAs where we can all just together and talk without all the structure of facilitation and also without the pressure of decision making behind that. We can be really, really open. And then that second half for an hour and a half would be really, really targeted like education that would maybe have a professor come in and lecture us for an hour about nonviolent direct action or about the way the economy actually works. So we can get really, really intensive education about all these issues we all care so passionately about. This would happen like every week, but it wouldn't happen on the same day every week because we all have such chaotic work schedules. Um, and that way, you know, between different weeks, different people can make different special assumptions, I think. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned the chaotic schedules and, and, and so forth. How will these floating or rotating meetings be announced? Through what medium would we know that they are going to occur? I did not write this proposal, so if anybody would like to speak to that, please. Um, I obviously was not involved in this proposal, but it seems to me that these meetings could be decided at a GA, as we decide many of our other large meetings. Okay, that being the case, would they be posted on the web then, on the website? I've seen a reason why not. Okay, I'm not, I'm not advocating one or the other. I'm just asking because I'm way out there. Yeah, I, I imagine they could be posted And that's my point of contact. Do we, really we have to propose this proposal, right. answer this question? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are, you the, are you the proposer? Um, it was between Isaac, Claire, myself, Jeff, and Mr. Jones. Okay. Are you the proposer? So the floor goes to people who are who wrote the proposal right. to answer questions. I'll, I'll call for clarifying questions. And I think Lynn Marie was next. No. So would this last part um, we were talking about for education, would that be the human university part of the education? Okay, so it would be something separate. Okay. And, oh, we're going to go back to make sure this question is answered. Um, as far as rotation goes for the schedule, what we were thinking about doing, and um, Thursday is now not available, we can do it any other day, it's not a big deal, but doing like, and this is just for instance, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, so it opens up, so every week it's like even, you know. So week one would be Monday, week two would be Wednesday, week one would be Monday, week two would be Wednesday. just way it opens up people's schedules a little bit more, so those that can't always make it on Monday can go next week for Wednesday. In the evening? In the evening. It would certainly be in the evening. Okay. And, and all, I, all I could ask was that you uh, announce it on the website or, or do something to clarify it. So that those of us. <laughs> do we have a clarifying questions now? Yes. Oh. Um, and then Harry, oh, yeah, Laura. Mine's not a uh, question. Uh, Jason, Laura. Uh, Jason. Uh, Jason. Uh, Jason. Uh, Jason. Uh, Jason. Uh, well, Edmund should go. Okay. A, a lot of what I was wondering has been clarified, but um, the. When this was spoken of during the previous proposal, people said it would be a time for work groups to like meet concurrently, and that sounds like a good idea to me. And I was wondering if that was part of the proposal, actually. N um, work groups to meet like different work groups would just be meeting at the same time, like in I the think same. I know what you're saying. Um, yeah. Actually, what was what was said in the first proposal is that is that before we came back, we had four GAs a week, and the new proposal that just passed allows us to have two GAs a week. And what that means is it opens up to us that all that time up that we would have spent in GA for work groups to meet. Oh, okay. So that's what I think that that's what that was. This is separate. This would allow a lot of voices um, and, and an academic nature. But if we can't get someone of an academic nature every week, then we were thinking we would have a 
a conversation about like a particular thing amongst uh, all of us and topic. Or a skill share. Skill you know, share. we got a lot of really talented people up in this room that could teach us a lot. Yeah. So it's just like an hour and a half of the exact free speech time that everyone's been asking for. For us all just to get together without someone saying you can talk. This and one, how would how would the like the expert or the academic or whatever be booked? Like who would book? those people? Uh, education committee would probably be mostly involved in that particular <laughs> segment of that evening because um, they're the ones to sort of push this forward wanting that once a week like intensely educational time. But at the same time, you know, I'm sure they could develop a process to uh, take requests from the group and if someone in the group says, hey, I want this person, they're going to be in town on this day, I'm sure education will be like, hey, 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 let's work, you know. Sorry, sorry, we've got people on set. Jason. Jason. And then Adam. Um, I was just wondering if maybe uh, <clears throat> since the Flying Brick and the Wingnut both have open hours for uh, when people go in and hang out, read books, and do stuff like that, those hours and those places could be scheduled. I mean, think about it. The, both places have like two days a week. I think that uh, they have open hours, and I don't. I don't think that they have a problem with people coming in and talking and having discussions of this nature. Maybe that could be an option. Sure, I mean, I, I don't think there's going to be any set spot where we have this every <laughs> single week. That is actually, I think, a brilliant idea that we could rotate where we go every week to like a garden or uh, the wing nut or the Anarchist Library or wherever. Or the Federal Reserve Bank or the Virginia General Assembly. Yeah. All right, um, is this. Um, I guess uh, soapbox part that you're talking about meant to be uh, an addition to the soapbox part of GA or a replacement for it? Addition. Okay. Nora? Uh, does this have a name or abbreviation that we can put on the Google Calendar? Special, Special Assembly. Special Assembly. SA. Thank you. So good. And now Harry. Okay. I'd like to uh, propose an amendment to uh, this for the... Here, can we take the rest of the clarifying questions and then take, and then take the amendments to it? Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Because it might just answer something, or I, I don't know, yeah. just in case. Just do it here. What a process. It is process actually because uh, we want to hear all That's the rest. Why I was saying point I was explaining so okay. the rest of the group knows, but the clarif clarifying questions might answer something that he was about to propose. So we want to finish right those and then get to that. Oh, just a quick uh, clarification here. Uh, these uh, special meetings, you don't um, pass any proposals. Correct. 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 Okay. Non-decision making group gathering. Good. Jordan and then Will. I was just going to ask if we could just vote on it and then pick specifics afterwards, like where it's going to be and mm -hmm. how we're going to choose who's going to speak and things. Mm -hmm. okay, you got it. My question really is um, let's, let's finish up who is in stack and then I'll take a temp on that. Um, and this will be this will be um, bottom line by education, right? Yeah, education and facilitation working together. And I should also make sure everyone's aware this isn't like a general assembly decision making body. What we're asking here with this formal proposal is the endorsement of the GA and the thought that the, uh, that members of the GA will want to come out to something like this. And if they want to come out to something like this, then there will be people who take the initiative to put this together. This isn't like something that's going to be super efficient and stringent. It's loose. It's going to be fun. It will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to just say three more clarifying questions. We've had a lot, and then I'd like to move on to so let you guys play those. I see a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Yeah. Oh, uh, so this would just be like what we did at the, um, the Commons a couple months ago, kind of like that, that educational form, sort of. Yeah. And not really, not so much. <laughs> um, but the, I think that the intent of that was to provide education as well as a time for everyone to say that. So if you want to look at the intent of that, less so <coughs> structure. 
Why are you seeking GA's approval for this? Because if we get GA's approval and we get an official GA endorsement, then it goes on the official Orva calendar, becomes an Orva official event that we would promote officially as an Orva event. Also yeah. seeking that, you know, we, we know that we'll have the support of the body and wanting to come and also wanting to help put this together. Okay, also, sorry. I'm sorry. We've also been hearing a lot um, a lot of uh, requests to have more time to speak about either grievances or positivities and stuff. And so we're trying to come up with a way to have a space for that while also having space for decision making and consensus. So this is a way to have instead of four GAs a week, two GAs a week, and then one for this space. <coughs> That's why we need to, the general assembly's opinion. I mean, uh, consensus because it's it's for the entire body. I guess we said three, so we can. It's just um, as far as naming goes, so special assembly. Uh, will the person who maybe is speaking at that event be able to help in the naming process of a particular special assembly? Like the topical portion? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, I went ahead and, and closed the clarifying questions. Uh, I'd like to just keep this moving. So I'd like to test the friendly um, amendment, um, which should be after. We should technically be after this, yes. Um, so we'll take, we're going to test for consensus on this. Who is supporting of this new special assembly? Mm -hmm. Who dissents? Okay, we'll, we'll hear the friendly amendment. The friendly amendment is specifically to location. And considering that it would be a time to bring grievances and the like, uh, doing it in front of, of the General Assembly of Virginia might actually be appropriate. With that said, uh, uh, <coughs> that's, that I'm suggesting as amendment to the first Wednesday uh, at the General Assembly of Virginia. Um, I'm going to, as a proposed, as one of the proposers, I'm going to deny that, and that's for specific reasons because I don't think it's a wrong, a wrong okay. proposal at all. I think the best thing to do right now is keep it rotating, but when you hear the next. Well, or I was always suggesting one. Yeah, I understand, but you It'll be taken into consideration. It'll be taken into consideration. That's not a problem. But just, just wait for the for the GA proposal. So then, so did we reach consensus? Yes. Uh, yeah. That was a test. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was just a test. Okay. Okay. That, that was a test. Um, is this a friendly amendment as well? Yes. Uh -huh. That you, uh, <clears throat> in, um, out of respect for those people who are not here or not, familiar with what a special assembly is. I mean, you might say special assembly, and they don't really understand what that is. If you just put special assembly, and then in parentheses, put non-decision measurement. So Absolutely. Clarify. Yeah. We'll get a section or, up on the website yeah. that goes That's just what you call it. You call it a special non-decision making assembly. Sure. We accept that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a formal vote. Everybody in support of this proposal? Anyone dissenting from the proposal? Proposal passes and flying home. All right, great. We had um, a May Day asking for a break. So what I'd like to ask the GA is we've got three other, there was a break, break planned for after these formal proposals and before the strategic discussion. So the question is, do you want to break now or do you want to break in between those two things? If you're supporting of a break now, please show your support of the break now. If you'd like, and if you would prefer to break later, then dissent a break now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you'd like a break later, put your hands up in the air. Okay, there's more support for a break a little bit later. Let's try and move through these other proposals really quickly. Okay, uh, the next one is for the Virginia General Assembly proposal. Where's Harry's right there. Oh. Building. We embrace a diversity of tactics and ideologies, that this is part of the beauty of this movement. 
We are the capital city of Virginia, and this is our state legislative body. This is our responsibility to maintain a presence and pressure on this destructive lawmaking body, and they will listen to us. So, clarifying questions? Can you just, uh, just take that a little bit slower? I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we propose that Occupy Richmond has a constant presence at the 2012 Virginia General Assembly. Beginning on January 11th at 10 a.m., we would like to maintain a constant presence every day outside the General Assembly building. We embrace a diversity of tactics and ideologies. I, I hate that word, guys. I'm sorry. As part of this, as part of this, as this is part of the beauty of this movement, we are the capital city of Virginia, and this is our le state legislative body. It is our responsibility to maintain a presence and pressure on this destructive lawmaking body, and they will listen to us. Questions? How precisely will this presence be maintained? Um, basically, what um, a lot of organizations have communicated to us that they would like for Occupy Richmond in Oregon to be have a constant presence outside the General Assembly doors um, on the cobblestone area, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but between the Capitol and the General Assembly building. Um, do it constantly protest in various issues, whatever we feel is pertinent to our terms of action. But that would, and there would be, Occupy Richmond would be outside the General Assembly. Signs. With signs waving, with chanting, do whatever you want to do, or standing, um, within reason. There's also, um, the Occupy Richmond Council has said that they would like there to see us if they want to ask questions, if they want to join us, if they want to get information, if they want to educate us, then there's a place for, the, for that to be every day. Um, and there is plenty of room for all of you to make, you know, to do whatever you want out there. I don't really care. I just want to be there. Would, would you go in, maybe? I'm sorry, we have to I can answer that. Alright, Rich? Uh, so you said constant presence, and you gave a start point, but then you didn't give an end point. Or... 60 days from that point. That's when the general assembly ends. However, I will say, um, when crossover happens, which I'm not so sure if, it, if everyone's familiar, but that's when <coughs> bills go from one legislative body to the next, and that's when a lot of the um, organizations that have been really supportive of ORVA will stop all of their lobbying and then hopefully come join us and that's probably going to be a really intense time. Um, you know, that's really logistical but six, to, just for simple answers, the Virginia General Assembly lasts 60 days. All right, Alan, um, you point out this is the capital for the state. Has there been any inclusion or outreach to the rest of the Occupy movements in the state to participate? Yes, in there, has been, there has been some, and they've actually done a really good job contacting us. And Rich, uh, Richmond seems to be the weaker link of all the Occupies. And this is in, this is in our city. Yeah, we've got the other side. Yeah, that. so there's been, there's been a lot of talk. Granted, they have transportational issues. That's why I say it's really our responsibility and our pressure, because we don't have those issues. <coughs> Joshua? Um, so, what I think I'm hearing is that um, you're simply saying that because we don't have a space that we're permanently occupying right now anyway, that the Virginia General Assembly is in session and going to be passing a lot of legislation that we probably wouldn't agree with, that we just spend some time every day or as often as possible at the General Assembly, we can do whatever it is that we want to do there, we can have work group meetings just to have a presence there, we have GAs there just to have a presence there, we can do all these things, just be there. Yes. yes. Um, I also want to point out the reason that I said 10 a.m., just so, so you guys understand, uh, on the 11th, is that high time, the traffic high time is from 11 to 3 p.m., so that's when all the Congress people, all the senators and stuff, they go back and forth in the building, so that's, a, that's a very high traffic time. So I didn't want to put too much pressure from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. for Occupy, that gives us a much shorter window, and we figured out that that's the time where it's the most traffic. And, outside. And keep in mind, there's no underground tunnel or anything between the, the house and the scene. They, they will have to go they outside to go through us to, to, yeah. to go to the uh, Capitol every day. Um, and this would be a perfect time to show them that Ooh, they're paying attention true. to what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> um, Daniel? Daniel? Um, will, will this be with or without a permit? Um, will it be with or without a permit? 
I'll do the turn. No, uh, well, I, 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 I can answer. I can answer. Um, I can answer. Please go ahead. If I don't answer correctly, then you buy me. Okay. But, um, there are interested parties wanting to get a permit. If that's fine with me, that's fine with the proposal. I think um, that's up to that's up to the interested parties. I don't believe that I need a proposal. I mean, a, a, a permit, and I'm going to be there regardless. And I'm going to be there regardless if this proposal passes. So just to let you guys kind of know, that's that's where I stand on it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Can I just follow up that question? Uh, this, I was going to ask Mr. Perry when he had made his original proposal, um, but I mean, since it got moved to you, I guess I'll ask it to you. Um, is the permitting process something that should be vetted through GA? I mean, if we're having 60 days of sitting outside of the Virginia General Assembly. If someone is going to go and get a, a permit on behalf of the GA, is, is that something that should be vetted uh, through the GA? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Was she asking me the question? So give me one second and then I'll let you guys take it. Okay? You can answer the original question. I understand. And, and you guys will be able to just relax. Um, I'm not sure the answer to whether or not it should be vetted through GA or not. I personally don't think that they're going to give us a 60-day permit, and this proposal right here says to have that constant presence. If, you want, if there are people that want to get one day here, one day there for bigger events or whatever, that's that's really fine. I don't care. Um, to add on to that question, technically, Occupy Richmond doesn't exist on paper. Now, we are not an official organization of any kind. We're just a group of, of individuals coming together to force our grievances together. There's nothing that we can say as we're an organization that on paper, you know. So we we are as we are as call connected with outside Richmond as we as we want to be. So if we show up on our own, we don't need a permit to stand outside on the house and all by ourselves to be there for our to represent ourselves our personal well, interests. So <coughs> they I mean, they can throw a permit in our face all they want. I'm there for my own purposes. And I, 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 I Save a point of information on this question. Yeah. All right. So to answer your question directly, the reason that I think we need to have permits is it's less hassle with the cops. I'm, I'm sorry. That's my reason. Uh, I'd rather us be able to be there. Uh, and personally, I don't need to get arrested again. Um, I've already been arrested once. Um, I think by having those permits, we have a better shot of doing this and still getting the press coverage we need. And I think we do need press coverage. Okay. Uh, that's why I have a direct response to the original yeah. question and answering all of these questions because I've been giving out <laughs> copies of the permit. This is a copy of the permit while also telling the people down at the DGS, which is the people who control the Capitol grounds, and are the bosses of the Capitol Police, and in one way or another they follow the, the rules, that we are down here and that we can't answer a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, the questions given, and they want us to get an hour-by-hour hour event, what they're calling event uh, um, uh, permits. But um, we filled them out and we passed them out. If people want to fill them out, I filled them out and told these people that I'm going to be down there anyways and uh, put that in, in writing for, for people to see and saying, again, the United States Constitution supersedes the restrictive uh, permitting process of the Department of General Services. And uh, we have a clear understanding and it's codified into a, a letter. And, and anyone else can do that as well who has, who I've given the process or go to dgs.com and you can do it yourself. Point of verification. Yeah. Oh. Got so, it. so we got a stack still? Sorry. Yeah. I just wanted to say that the Capitol grounds are open each and every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just I think that, that I have just we can peacefully assemble and we can walk the cobblestones up down around that building. We should not have to have a permit. So there are thousands of visitors that come here and they don't have permits. I agree. They get off the bus, they do their thing, they march around, you march around the General Assembly building and the Capitol until you get busy. But we don't need permits, we don't play it on cause of trouble or disrupting. We're going to get them when they come out. We just sit in the good and hand in their okay. paperwork. How many do we have left for in terms of All right. questions? We have Christina, Sarah, I'm sorry, I don't know the green sweater, and Alan Unicycle. 
Okay, we're going to close it there. <laughs> close it there. Okay. Uh, this is the lower of what Josh said. This might be the minimum permit. And can we have um, temporary structures such as like, tables for information, parks for whatever it is, like, things like that, so that we actually resemble in some way a station, but it can you know, be put away at the end of the day? We'll look into that if it's if it's uh, if it's possible to do without the rest of the work. We'll look into that right now. I think we're just looking to be able to be there. We'll figure out where it comes from. I'm gonna answer that as well. You guys are welcome to do whatever you want. <laughs> Me and Will are not going to be planning for you what to do outside of the general assembly. That's not gonna happen. Because often we're gonna be inside the general assembly. My interest is going to be watching and lobbying for bills and I'm gonna be in committee a lot. <laughs> That's up to that's an individual choice. That's the choice that I'm making. But what we're hearing from organizations that have been particularly very, very, very good to Orva are saying, please be outside. Please make it so that we can point outside and be like, this is what's going on. Um, and that's sort of you know it, it makes it so that we can we can support their events, they can support ours. Things you know during crossovers it's gonna be a very interesting time. And we have three to four hours a day to really talk about all that stuff and. It, Explain the general assembly is I'm actually going to amend this proposal to 11 to 3 every day, so that and that doesn't mean you can't come before or after and do your thing. I'd love for you to, but just so we have kind of specific times to meet up with each other and to have that be on the internet. All right, thank you, Sarah. Um, I, I first of all, I'm honestly undecided about whether or not we all have credit, so I'm not advocating either side. Um, I just. To bring forth consideration that by asking for a permit, by asking for permission, we're giving them the ability to say no. Yep. And if they say no, that allows us of our ability to be there. You don't need one. All right. I'd like to point out that these are, we're in a clarifying, we're, we're asking questions right now. All right. Uh, Ma'am, ma in the green jacket, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah. So my question, in the occupation in Charlottesville, there was an issue around the permits being that there was a small group of people who um, didn't feel comfortable operating without the permit and went ahead and got a permit. And the issue that came out of that was the fact that you essentially ended up with 1% of the group acting for the rest of the group and going ahead and making a decision. So I'm curious, as I'm new here, how do you all handle that decision? Um, I can try and answer that, and if not, I can go to the group. Um, but but for, for Charlottesville, that was for actually occupying 24-7. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about public hours in daylight on a public space. Right. Um, during times when they're at, that when it should be that the public should go there. It's a legislative body. Right. Um, so it's a little bit different. Because uh, while I agree they shouldn't have gone for a permit in Charlottesville, but that was their that was their choice, that's their thing. This is very different from that. Um, also, the permit. If you look at the permit, but but what I'm hearing, and correct me if I'm wrong, there is questions here about this as to whether or not there would be permits. You have one individual over here who's saying he feels more comfortable. Mm -hmm. You have you here saying that no, you're doing this regardless. And so for I'm me. just. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not putting a no. Right, way. so I'm just, but I'm asking as a group, how has this issue been collectively dealt with? Not has it not? That's not okay, that's all, that's, that's it, the it answer. It has not been collectively okay. dealt with yet for this situation, and in, the, in prior to that, we did, as a group, try to apply for permits for Canal Plaza. They never, they didn't necessarily get denied, but they never went through, and we did it anyways. Okay. Yeah, they were. They got the okay, we're not going to All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Alan, unicycle. Point of order, please. Point of order. Red stack. Please. Yes. Are, aren't permits outside the scope of your proposal? And will you carry on with the process? The, the, there is nothing about permits in this Okay. I'm ready to move because this is taking a long time. There's a lot of good questions. I'm going to move to a temperature check on this. 
And it may turn out that this is not a formal proposal and there's not enough consent to sign. So let's take a temp check. Who's in support of this proposal? Who dissents from this proposal? One, two, that's a stand aside. You got one dissent. I have a friendly amendment. Okay, we've got one dissent. Do you guys want to take friendly amendments? Sure. We can hear him. I go? Okay. Friendly amendment is that they're not, the Occupy Richmond not get a permit for this as Occupy Richmond unless a decision becomes, gets made later that that should happen. Okay. I, so what I'm hearing from you, just to make sure, um, is that Occupy Richmond does not get a permit as the group, uh, which I'm not really sure how you do looking at those forms anyways, because we're not an organization, and that if an individual wants to get a permit for that individual's oneself, then or for some subgroup or whatever, or some other group that they represent. Sure, but so if an individual wants to get a permit as an individual protesting or doing whatever they want outside, yeah. is that okay with the? Can I see a temp check on, on that amendment? Any dissent on that on that friendly amendment? Uh, we'll get a question. I want to ask: Is there any dissent on that friendly amendment since we took a, a positive? And I don't there might be see. Questions. Okay, question. I'm uh, uh, just making sure that I got your friendly amendment <coughs> correct. Yeah. You're uh, suggesting that no permit be gotten. No. Well, no. Okay. Uh, unless we have general consensus here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Should I, I agree here? completely. Okay. Then. okay I yeah. just had to ask. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to get Tom? Oh, yeah, Alan wasn't stacking the question. There's a process here. So let's hear Alan and then clean the process. I'm good. He's just clean the process. Just, um, just to clarify that friendly amendments go directly to the proposer and are not subject to any other dialogue with the body. Right? Yes. And so, and so what I understand, just to clarify what I understand, this is a proposal to be at the General Assembly. Permits are not included in this proposal. And we have another General Assembly based on what we voted on on Thursday, where that proposal could come back as a formal proposal if it wanted to, but this particular proposal doesn't involve uh, permits. But it's a proposal. Oh, but it's a friendly amendment. I can re I'm going to restate the Please. proposal so that everyone understands what's going on, because it seems people are getting a little bit lost and frustrated. We propose that Occupy Richmond has a constant presence at, 2012, at the 2012 Virginia General Assembly, beginning on January 11th at 10 a.m. We would like to mean we would like to maintain a constant presence every day outside the General Assembly of the building. We embrace a diversity of tactics and ideologies as this is part of the beauty of this movement. We are the capital city of Virginia and this is our state legislative body. It is our responsibility to maintain a presence and pressure on this destructive lawmaking body. They will listen to us. The two changes that have been made at this point were to have the, the times be from 10 a.m. can remain so we can get organized on Wednesday. But Every day, 11 to 3 are, the, are those that, that great window of opportunity. The other friendly amendment that we took was that Orvo would not consent, I mean, that this does not include um, official Occupy Richmond permit, but if an individual wants to get a permit for themselves to be out there, that is up to them. Okay. We're going to take a vote on this proposal. Everybody's in support of this proposal. Please show your consent. Anybody against this proposal, please show your dissent. There is none. Three. One, There's three. three. Excuse three. me. One. Oh, raise your hand. Yeah, ah, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Can we One. see these hands? If you dissent, please raise your hands high. One. Two. Two. Three. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, raise your hand high. Like, you don't have to do this. So there's two dissents to this proposal, um, which does mean it passes. Do we want to hear the dissent to this proposal? Yes, please. I would like to hear this. Is, is there, do we want to hear the dissent to the proposal? Okay. Anybody who does not want to see the, the dissent to the proposal? Okay, we're going to hear the dissent to the proposal. Laura? I just, um, I think perhaps we um, maybe skipped a few stages in our press. Um, I understand this is opening a dialogue about this and that you're open to people coming in and giving their ideas. But I do think we as a movement skipped a few steps with press training and talking to people of power. Um, there's a difference between being there as a protester and just being active, which is totally on you as an individual, and actually talking.
talking to a lobbyist, as well as we are making modifications in the GA, and I've never heard this before, so I don't consider this a formal proposal. I consider this an informal proposal that I think should be tabled. What was that about at, in a working group and up there? So it's either do it as an informal proposal and take it a tip check or vet it out in working Yeah, I'm just a little confused why we can make modifications in the GA and then reread them as modifications rather than tabling it and reformulating with uh, COCO and then bringing it back and it's been re-evaluated, reworded, and edited. Okay. okay. Other dissent? Um, let me just say that I'm glad that it passed, but personally I don't exactly understand what we are protesting against and what on a day-to-day -day basis the different um, just the different like legislative bills are opinion on them because it seems like we're kind of just giving like a blank like go ahead and like have the group say whatever they want against any different bill without necessarily like thinking about and talking about as a group how we feel about them. Um, that being said, I'm glad it passed. Okay, so Sarah and Laura, I, I would love to talk to you more after this so we can maybe figure out exactly some stuff. And if you want to be part of maybe a, a working group that gets some of this going, then I'll be Okay, great. So I want to hear I want to hear more of that and like write it down figure it all out. Will's gonna he's got from media has a very quick announcement that's pertinent. There is a member of the media here on the back there doing video. Um, I've instructed him not to use any audio from our meeting. Um, and not to zoom in on anyone's face, particularly just take general shots. Uh, if anyone is uncomfortable with that, please, if you can film you, please inform him to record you or to film out video. Um, but, and also I've been sure that everything we say is off the record, so he is not to report anything we are discussing to the other gentleman. Okay, so just I want to let everybody know that we've, we've hit our time limit for formal proposals, that 45 minute time limit we set. We've accomplished three of our five proposals. Um, and I, I, based on what we agreed upon earlier, we're going to take a break and go forward with, um, with the strategic discussion. If we finish the strategic discussion, Sorry. we can go into the other formal proposals. So this is going to be a five minute break. Let me take you to the bathroom. I'll be right back.